My head so messed up, but I can't fold to no fear Got say set right up on these bands and I'm gon' use the wipe tears Five years to stick into the plans I made when I was a jit Yo, what's up guys? It's Josh back with another tutorial video and today I'm going to be showing you guys in depth how to edit your very own Fortnite highlights video intro. Quickly before the video starts guys, I just want to say that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure to drop a sub by pressing that red subscribe button. It is free for you guys, helps me out a ton and you can change your mind at a later date. Let's get right into the video. Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh and like I said in the intro, I am going to be showing you guys how you can edit your very own. Fortnite highlights video intro. I'm going to be showing three different tech styles. Uh, the pack with these presets is made by an editor, uh, my friend Charlie FN. So make sure to go check him out. All his uh, links will be in the description to his uh, YouTube and the pack itself. Make sure to go drop him a sub, support his channel. He's a really correct DaVinci editor, I can't lie. Uh, but yeah, so the first thing you need to do for this video obviously is to download uh, the things in this effect so what you want to do is you want to actually go to the project file and make sure that you download this project file right here it is like the mr alex tech uh, transitions thing where you go like this you download it and once you have it downloaded by the way you don't need to just uh, download this displacement map uh, that's there there is another one that i will be linking in the description that's a 20 second version because uh, I'm pretty sure this one's only like six or seven seconds, so you can't have it for long periods of time. Uh, but I do have a 20 second one just in case you did want to do your text uh, duration to be a bit longer than normal. So once you have that project file downloaded and you have it on somewhere on your PC where you know you're going to be able to find it, uh, you can just close out of the window, locate it in your file explorer wherever it is. I'm pretty sure, I don't even know, it was somewhere on my desktop. What you want to do is, let's just say, this picture that I have right here is the file. You're going to drag it and drop it in the DaVinci thing right here. I don't know why it's not coming up, but you're going to drag and drop it right there. It'll go like that, obviously it'll mess it up. Uh, but it will create a thing saying a new project, so it will take you into that project. And what you want to do once you are inside of this project i'm just going to let it load up real quick obviously you can see that it opened up and what you want to do is it will say all the master stuff right here obviously i do have clips inside of it i'm going to remove these clips just for the sake of this video i'm going to remove the timeline delete the timeline all right so once you have your actual um the things right here you will see that they are right here even though we are focusing on just the text itself what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in your media pool in your master media pool and you can just highlight all of them right here the only thing we are going to be focusing on in this video is text but there are cool other effects like pre-shake uh, warp glows clip effects there are color corrections in there uh, but what you can just do for all of them you can right click right here and I'm going to remove this bin what you're going to want to do is right click in this space right here go to new bin and call it something like Fortnite presets something along the lines of that it doesn't have to be that I have one called just presets and what you're going to want to do is highlight it and you're just going to want to drag and drop it into that one that you just created you will see that it has things called text so just the exact same ones and then I'm going to just remove it because I already have one right here and you can see that all of the different uh, effect styles and all that I did drag in two other things just because I was using it in another thing but now that we have it in our power bins what you're gonna want to do is you can open up a new project or you can do it inside of this one it doesn't really matter that much uh, just make sure that you are saving the project as normal and by the way guys something I did notice in one of my previous tutorials a lot of people were commenting how do I find my power bins if I don't have them showing up on my screen and what you're going to want to do to do that is make sure that you're just on the top bar right here navigate over to where it says view and go down to where it says show power bins and make sure that is has the check mark right there so show power bins and that will obviously bring up this menu right here you can expand it all that good stuff and you should be able to see the other one so what i'm going to do right now is i'm actually going to go open a new project and i'll see you guys once i'm in there all right guys so i am in a new project now i'm going to alter the settings to the ideal ones that i prefer uh, if you are making a montage for yourself and you aren't recording like me, I would suggest 
going up here, going to custom and making your resolution 2560 by 1440 because that is the 1440p resolution you're going to use if you want to do that. It makes your montages look a lot more crystal clear. Definitely improves the quality since YouTube does downscale a bit when you're uploading it. For me, I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080 since I am just recording a video at the same time. I'm not actually posting this. Change your timeline frame rate and your playback frame rate to both 60 FPS so it's nice and smooth. You don't really want 30 FPS for that. And then for video monitoring, I'm just going to set it to 720p60. That's just the uh, type of... It's just going to be the frame rate and the quality that it shows up while you're actually watching it back while editing. And then you can come down to here to read time process and change it to optical flow. All right, guys. So the next step you want to do is make sure that you are getting your cinematics. So for me, I do have a folder just on my PC where I just have a bunch of highlight cinematics that I have downloaded. Something I would recommend to find these types of cinematics is to look up on YouTube Fortnite highlight cinematics. There are a bunch of free ones. I know there's a guy named Ray Z. He uploads a new pack almost every single week of Fortnite highlight uh, cinematics, which are super good. I have some of them in a different folder on my PC, but these ones, I can't remember who they're by. What we're going to do for this video is I'm going to take three different ones. I'm going to actually move this over and just drag it into our media pool like that. So we have three of them. I'm going to do a different style of text for each of these three. Uh, so I will have timestamps on the screen for the different type if you're looking for the LMGK text and then you can check that if you're looking for the nummy text you can just check the timestamp for that should be in little chapters of the video if you just want to look at the uh i don't even know what it's called it's the thing where you can navigate the uh but if you guys want to just do that you can check the timestamps in the description to find the preferred text that you were looking for all right so what we want to do now is we have our three cinematics right here i'm just going to drag it into the thing obviously we do need a song so I'm just going to come down here and find a random song right here. So I'm just going to use this song called Cold World. It's super good. Uh, really good song for highlights videos. I'm going to trim it down to I know the good part of the intro. All right, guys. So I do have the song in now. What we're going to want to do is we're going to find a point in time in the song that we feel the cinematic should transition between. So we're going to come to this point of the song where it says he is saying my head's so messed up. Uh, and it's kind of quiet before that. So we're going to do like that right there. And there, there are specific points in every song's intro that you can identify for a c cinematic transition. It's just kind of something that you identify after editing for a while. So what we want to do, what I just did there, is you're going to right click, select retime controls. What we're actually doing right here is you're just retiming the cinematic itself so it's faster. I'm dragging it from the top so it's 300% speed. So just that's that. What we're going to do is we're going to drag the second cinematic that we have, which is also a pan out. I'm going to get rid of the audio just because we don't need it. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to right-click, go to read time controls. We're going to find the song where, or the part in the song where we're transitioning to the next cinematic. Just like that. So it's 361%. So just like that. And then we're going to take the last one, obviously, get rid of the audio. We're going to trim it down just a bit bit because I noticed that there is a point in the cinematic where it stopped just like that and then we're going to do the retime controls bring down like that and just like that so just like that I'm going to cut down the rest of the audio because this is just a cinematic intro tutorial we don't really need the rest of the song for an actual clip effect video so we're just gonna do this and then we're gonna have the audio fade out so what we're gonna want to do now is now that we have our cinematics laid out in the timeline itself i'm going to show off the first text style which is going to be the lmgk one so what we're going to want to do, we're going to navigate over to our power bins where we did save them. And then we're going to go into the text folder and we're going to bring up the LMGK one. Drag it over top of our first cinematic. Extend it. And just like that, you guys will see 
that it did what we can do we can do the exact same fade so we can figure out it's a 0.16 fade in so we're going to drag this fade so it matches the same fade as the cinematic itself just so the text isn't there on a black screen beforehand so obviously you guys will see i'll go frame by frame real quick you can see it fades in with the actual cinematic itself which is kind of cool so the first one is the lmgk one by the way charlie did make all these presets so props to him for that super cool uh, instead of doing a fade out we're going to do a write on effect starting here uh so obviously at 22 we're, i'm gonna add a marker here real quick just so i know and that's where we want it to start just like there perfect and then what we're gonna want to do to edit the text itself to make it whatever you want you just want to navigate into your fusion tab right here you will see that the nodes are here text and a drop shadow Go to where it says text, and then what we're gonna want to do is I'm going to name it what you'll learn kind of thing like that, something like that. I'll just make it what you will learn, so it looks a lot better. So, but you can change it to whatever. You can change it highlights number nine, highlights whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference. Uh, it's obviously black screen right here with the text because I haven't added the write on effect so what we're going to do for the write on effect we're actually going to keyframe it right here on the point on our marker where we wanted it to start and we're going to drag this down right here and it's see as you can see it's zero right on until this point and then we're going to go 20 frames from here so we're at frame number 17 we're going to go to frames 37 and we're going to keyframe it again drag this to full so what it will look like is it will look like this and it will do a write on like that. And then we're going to go to the very end, one frame before the end, 235, go back to 215, keyframe it as normal, and then go back to 235, keyframe it and drag it to the opposite side. So it will look like this. It is lagging right now because obviously this is the first time it's being played back. So we can see that it fades in, blank, and then it writes on, does a little write on. I'll go frame by frame so you guys can see. Like that. Super cool. Just like that. Does a write effect. So that's pretty much it for the LMGK one. You can alter the color a bit if you want. I wouldn't really recommend doing it. Like you can change it to a, I know some people do like a weird yellow color, which looks kind of cool. It's like a little mustard mustard color you can make it like gray or something if you wanted to you don't have to but i don't know it looks good for different ones obviously not on that cinematic it looks disgusting i'm gonna just change it back to the default white but uh yeah that's pretty much just gonna be that and what we're gonna want to do since it does have a transition into it we're probably gonna do the same right on effect but this time we're going to be doing the wavy text for it's kind of the same one as the preset that i've made in previous videos uh you definitely have recommend or you'll probably recognize it so charlie did already put a rotation into it so we're gonna actually get rid of that unless you want to keep it at the beginning what we're going to do is we're going to resize it to a bigger size like that. We're going to change it, you know, highlights number one or whatever like that. And just like that, it does have a bit of an RGB distort effect, which is kind of cool. What we're going to want to do is we're going to do the same right on effect at the very end. Since it does have a rotation at the beginning, it'll kind of look cool if it does a, we can see that it does a rotation. Oh, wrong one. We're not on the right effect. So we can see that it does do a rotation effect right here. We're going to go to the very end, 221, go to 201, do the exact same thing. At the text one, we're going to keyframe the right on. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, boom. Keyframe, goodbye. So it does the right on transition to end. So that's pretty much it for two textiles already. Uh, we obviously have done these two right here, like that. And 
And what's cool about these is it already does have effects on it, like warp waves and all that good stuff. You can see that Charlie has already added these warp wave effect. Same thing, thing for this one. He does have a flicker and a dissolve shake on it, which is super cool. Uh, that you guys don't have to do anything like that. It's already pre-made. Uh, again, drop my sub. I don't know how many times I have to say it. He literally took so much time out of his life to make your guys' life way easier when it comes to editing, starting out editing. We're going to drag in the last one, which is going to be the clerk text. And it is obviously this little text right here. The, this is the text that we'll actually be using the displacement map for. Charlie does have a rotation uh, transition for this one. We're just going to do a fade out since I'm ending the video off here, but you can do the write on effect the same as the other ones. But what we're going to do for this one, we're going to go into our fusion, just like we have with all the other ones, and we're going to add this text node, or not add it, we're going to edit it to say the exact same thing. This highlights a number two or something like that doesn't matter we can increase the size if we want to doesn't really matter it's up to you guys and then where it says media in two right here we're actually going to delete that make sure this displace node is here and then what we're going to want to do is go into our youtube videos where i have my other thing and i do have a displacement map right here drag it in and you're gonna have to do this every time by the way you can't save it as a preset you have to drag in the displacement map every time we're just gonna connect it and just like that we do have this little displacement map right here which is kind of cool it does look a bit weird compared to the other one but it, it's better than nothing obviously uh, but yeah this is pretty much what I've taught you guys already it's pretty simple uh, really easy shout out to Charlie again but obviously we do have the LMGK text right there. We have the Numbi text. And then we have the Clerk text, which is really cool that he's put this in an editing pack for you guys to easily access. You don't have to add any effects to it. You literally only need to drag and drop and edit it. Other than the cinematics, obviously, and retiming that. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video, guys. If you guys do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll be actively answering as many as I can. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like if you found it helpful. Obviously, drop a like too. Subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of these new tutorials or any of my upcoming videos. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.